Now, for those of you who don't know, the tax shotgun's base damage has been reduced. Firstly, its base damage on all rarities have been reduced. The common and uncommon, which are the gray and green tax, have been reduced by three, and the remaining blue, purple, and gold tax have been reduced by four. I'm not your ordinary guy. No, no, no. I'm your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, the one who believes in you, the one who is rooting for you, the one who knows you're going to be successful, not only in this game, but also in life. And I'm not just saying it. I really, really do believe it. So I hope you believe it. And if you believe it, man, nothing's impossible for you. So today, I'm going to be going over what we feel is going to be the true decider in whether or not you're going to be successful in Fortnite this season. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God. God. This is super important, man. This may come as a strong statement, but you need to realize that the core of everything in life is your attitude. Everyone say attitude. You know, there's a reason why, like when you dislike something, your enthusiasm for it dies. Or when you're hyped for something else, you can't wait to get your hands on it. Well, the same is true for Fortnite. If you don't enjoy or love this game, you simply are not gonna do good at it, period. So in this video today, we're gonna be going over how to have the right mentality for Fortnite. And the next thing that I want to say is I want you to stop doubting yourself. You know, I know a lot of times we make mistakes, we fall short of stuff, and then we kind of have that image in our mind replaying and replaying, and then we just can't get away from it. But every day is a new day, guys. When you wake up today, when you wake up the next day, it's a new day. Forget what happened yesterday. Forget what happened last week. Own today. This is your moment. This is your time. Take advantage of it, all right? It's a fresh start every day. All right, the next thing, guys, is, you know, sticking to shotguns, the charge shotgun. Now, those words give, you know, some people shivers down their spine, you know, especially when we say this word. You know, we have tweets here from players like Benji Fishy, who isn't really a fan of the shotgun, but also makes an interesting point about the tax shotgun. Now, for those of you who don't know, the tax shotgun's base damage has been reduced. Firstly, its base damage on all rarities have been reduced. The common and uncommon, which are the gray and green tax, have been reduced by three, and the remaining blue, purple, and gold tax have been reduced by four. It doesn't really sound like a big change, but it definitely is. Like, you're looking at three to maybe four shots connected before the player goes down. <laughs> you might be thinking, well, I can hit headshots. Unfortunately, it's a headshot multiplier reduced to 1.5. For you to fully understand what this all means, okay, the best headshot damage you're gonna hit on your opponents is 124 with the gold tack, and the blue tack does 112. Now, I'm not gonna give my thoughts on these changes because that's really not the point of the video. The point of today's video, guys, is mentality. We wanted to go over some of the changes to season three so far. The reason we wanted to explain everything to you was because now your task is to think about your first thoughts hearing what we just said. Was you're thinking something along the lines of, this game is trash, like why are they making these kind of changes? Or were you thinking, right, okay, not something I'm really happy about, but you know what, let's get practicing. You can see already without me even pointing it out that the second mindset is better than the first one, right? The cold hard truth of it guys is no matter how many people give their opinion on something, Epic Games are in the driving seat. They really are. So you just have to make the most of it and you have to enjoy the ride. Yeah, things they do can seem frustrating, but you know, we can't change it. That's why I really feel like this season is going to make or break a lot of players. G man, go under pump demon bro, GG bro. Your initial thoughts on these changes, you know, if it's the first example we mentioned, even though it isn't the best, it's okay. The reason we say it's okay, the reason why I'm saying it's okay, is because a lot of the times in life, you won't get something right the first time. <laughs> Trust me, I know, I've made so many mistakes over and over again, but I've learned from it, I've grown from it, and that's one of the reasons of how I became the motivation guy. Like, if you cannot change your mindset soon, then it becomes a problem. So, how do you change your mindset? There are many different ways that you can change your mindset, all right? This could be integrating, you know, new mottos to help you stay on task, avoid jumping on the bandwagon, <laughs> and being able to adapt. We're going to break each of these down a little later in this video, but for now, I wanna talk about the different negative mindsets with the hope that if one of these relates to you, then you will know that these are going to hinder your improvement, and worst case scenario, end your Fortnite career. Rest assured guys that not all these players we mentioned, you know, means that all hope is lost. These mindsets can be changed easily. You just have to be willing to put effort into it, all right? Okay, so first and foremost, we have the perfect player. <laughs> now, the perfect player thinks they are exactly that. They do nothing wrong and they blame everyone else for their deaths or a mistake that they made. Keyword in that sentence is they. Firstly, guys, you need to take responsibility for yourself, period. Like, that's the truth. 
if you made the mistake to push or you took shots when you weren't supposed to and it results in your demise, you have to own it. If you can't admit you do something wrong, then you're not going to get better, especially in this game. And you may as well quit now. All right, guys. So next up, we have the doubter. Now, if you're the type of person that have this mindset, then you've already lost. What the doubter will do is doubt their abilities and think they are the worst player in the lobby. Before you even start fighting, you've already lost. I mean, literally, you've come in the game saying, I'm not going to win. I'm not going to get good placement. And you've already lost. Fortnite is so much more of a mental battle than people really realize. And how you play will be the sign for your opponents. Okay, so imagine this. You get into a 1v1 and instantly just box up and scare away from the build battle. Your opponent is going to think two things. Either you're a really good box fighter or you're just not confident. Confidence has a smell and you want that smell, all right? The last type of player that I want to talk about is the arrogant player. The arrogant player doesn't take well to criticism. He or she will not even listen to their teammates. Now, I shouldn't be the one to tell you this, but I am. If you cannot take criticism, guys, I think you know where I'm going to go with this. You're not going to improve. Your teammates who play with you day in and day out are the best people to have, you know, an open conversation with about what you can do to improve. Maybe it's communication. Maybe it's game sense. Whatever it is, be open to it and don't let it, you know, turn toxic. Okay, so if you think you're the best on the team, listening and having a conversation might bring up some points that you never considered for yourself. Okay, so that's enough talking about the types of players. Let's talk about something that a lot of players are going to struggle with this season, and that is adapting. Whew. Okay, this is possibly the most important discussion of the video. Please pay close attention, all right? If you cannot follow these points, then you might as well quit the game because adapting in Fortnite has never been much more relevant than right now. With the new season introducing things we've never seen before, it's pretty much an understatement to say the meta, yeah, it's changed. It has. Players who can adapt are going to come out on top. We saw this happen in FNCS last season. So many new faces coming out on top. You know, we were seeing a new top 10 every tournament. Some of the main names in the competitive scene drowned out by new blood. You know, going into this season, when the tournaments start, you should expect to be introduced to new faces. So how do you adapt to the new meta? You can check out ProGuys.com where we have services designed specifically to help you improve at all aspects of your game. That's a really good start right there. If you're struggling with the new season and you want specific questions answered, then Play With Pros is definitely for you. So be sure to check it out in the link in the description, all right? All right, so from what we discussed, trying to salvage anything from the tax shotgun is going to be hard. So for that reason, the charged shotgun gets our recommendation. Now, all right, obviously this is easier said than done but this is what is going to separate the good from the bad now how do you get good with the new charge shotgun this is the million dollar question Woo! okay well what you can do is definitely start off by watching you know the pro guys video in the link you know that's gonna be in the description but i'm gonna be honest though guys like the learning how to use the gun is half the battle the true test is really gonna be your mentality you know and how much you're gonna put into this weapon unfortunately at the time of this recording the charge shotgun isn't in creative mode so getting the time in with the gun you know you can only do online or really just going into playground mode for a workaround Okay, what you don't want to do is get the shotgun, die, go into another game, get the shotgun again, and die. Now, there are obvious negatives to this, like, you're gonna rage because you're frustrated, you know? When you're frustrated, you don't learn. Trust me, I know best. Like, I know that more than anybody. When I get frustrated, man, I'm not gonna improve, period. Now, everyone gets frustrated from time to time. It's really unavoidable, you're human, but what you shouldn't do is just jump on the bandwagon. From the moment season three was released and players started playing around with the new shotgun, there was hate. Big name players like Stretch and Kanata didn't like it, you know, from the get go. Now, when something is new to a game, which has millions of players, it's near enough impossible to please everybody. Some people choose to be vocal and some do not. Okay, so what we recommend though is giving it a try and not completely ignoring it because your favorite pro doesn't like it. Look, this is the truth. You don't copy another person's settings and turn out to be as good as them because their settings work for them and it might not work for you. The same really goes with the charged shotgun. You know, a lot of players don't like the delay, which is understandable because they haven't spent countless hours perfecting their speed. Throwing in a weapon that slows them down, whew, it's not going to get the best reaction, right? All I'm saying is that I know a lot of you guys out there are very influential. What I don't want is for you to just to jump on the bandwagon completely, you know, disregard the shotgun. And in a couple of weeks, everyone knows how to use the shotgun and then you change your mind. <laughs> now, because you disregarded it, now you have to play to catch up. 
All right, guys, so that was just a quick one-on-one conversation that I wanted to have because you know me, you know, I don't like any negativity. I want positivity and only positivity in my life. And uh, also maybe some of that bunch of crunch because, uh, you know, that helps you too. And speaking of bunch of crunch, yo, you already know what time it is. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Now let's continue this video. All right, guys, let's talk about mottos, which you should remember when playing, which is going to help you improve your mentality and die less. All right, so wasting no time at all. The first motto is this. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. This is hands down one of the best models to remember, all right? If you remember this every single time you play and remember every single time that you died, like you wouldn't tilt ever again because you're turning a negative moment into a positive one. And generally every death in Fortnite really can be traced back to a decision that was made, right? Now, if you can pinpoint this and learn from it, then you're never gonna lose a fight again, theoretically, of course. Sometimes, though, there is generally nothing you could have done differently or you just messed up on an easy shot. And that's OK, because this takes us to our second motto. Accept what happened. What's done is done. Sometimes in a fight, you may miss an easy shot and then you die. So frustrating. That happened to me just yesterday. Sometimes you're rotating and all of a sudden you get headshot sniped. I hate that. These situations that happen, like no one is perfect and hits every shot. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this video have been randomly headshot sniped. We all share the same pain, but it's dope when you do that to someone else, though. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. These situations happen to everybody. Right. And if this happens, no matter how annoying it is, you just got to accept it. You cannot change what has happened. And unfortunately, it's probably going to happen again. If you're able to not let it affect your mood and accept it, you're going to see improvements in mentality and even how long you can play the game. So this video is all about discussing different mindsets and discussing the best ways to keep a positive mindset and improve mentality. All right. So let's do a recap to make sure you got everything you need from this video. You guys ready? Here we go. Your initial mindset for Fortnite and for life should be an open and inviting one. Change is good, guys, and being able to adapt and accept whatever is thrown at you is going to make you the best version of yourself. If you are one of those you know, type of players we discussed, don't be alarmed. There's still hope for you, all right? If you're willing to put the time and effort into making positive changes, I promise you will improve. You will make it. You will be successful. Being able to adapt means that you can get through any change that is thrown at you. To do this, you need to be first to understand the change and give it time. Even if you don't like it first, just work at it and make it work. As we said, your initial mindset has to be open. Jumping on the bandwagon of hate won't be positive for anybody, and it's just going to make it harder for you to improve. So we would recommend writing both of these models now, maybe on a piece of paper and just have it on your desk or just, you know, in your line of sight when gaming. This way, if you die, you can just see it and not react in rage and just turn it into a positive. Guys, do it. Trust me. It's going to help you be a better player. I promise you. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm so grateful that I had an opportunity to share, you know, some good stuff with you guys today. Make sure to apply it and you're going to see the improvements, man. Not only in this game, but also in life. You know, this is our army. This is what we're doing. And we're going to change this world one person at a time. Got it? So these were our tips on how to improve mentality in season three of Fortnite. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe with notifications and don't miss another video and leave a comment down below of ways that you found to improve mentality. We're all about helping each other out in this community. This is a positive community. We're here to uplift each other, not put each other down. OK, we're here to support one another and just grow. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Peace.